So before we delve into the topic, let's see what we're going to do today. As you can see, it's really slow right now. It's loading on every time we click a tab. So the new experience is going to be lightning fast, just like this. Hello and welcome to No Code Mafia, where we do everything and anything in the world of no code. In today's episode, we're going to see how to make your bubble application faster. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this tutorial is for intermediate and be beginner bubblers, uh, where you should already be knowing how to uh, do workflows as well as navigation on pages. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be checking out how to make the dashboard faster. So I've gone ahead and made uh, a very basic uh, kind of no code mafia style uh, dashboard where there are three home disputes and missions. So jumping back into bubble, you can see that it's a very basic design. So you can see if I click home, it loads and goes to home. If I click disputes, the page loads and goes to disputes. It's quite slow, especially if you're dealing with uh, fast applications or dashboards where you need to keep on cycling between the tabs. I'm going to teach you how to make uh, an application where you don't really need to go to different pages to do it. You're going to be using bubbles feature where you can send information to the url let's get started so i'm going to name the new page called faster way uh, quite apt so we're going to start by just making the page a bit taller uh, and i will i will cover how we can make the page responsive in the upcoming videos do let me know if uh, i need to do that in the comments below um, and we'll get started on that so I will change the background color to something darker. I'll add a new group so that we can add the menu bar. So that's going to be a 77 by 70. Right. I'll arrange it horizontally and we can start by adding our button. So just hit duplicate and this is going to be disputes. Just hit duplicate on that, and this is going to be missions. All right, so selecting all these three, distribute them horizontally so the spacing in between them is better. So, let me add a group to the content section, let's keep it like that. It's going to be let's give it 900 and a height of 900, so it's a nice square one. Inside group content, there's going to be another group called uh, content home. It's seven seven six three three, and we're going to make this group horizontal. All right, and now we're going to add the, add another image into this. We're going to be like image. Oh. By the way, this image is going to be your content. So whatever content you're going to have in the home tab, you're going to put it in this. You're going to put it in this uh, group that is content home. All right. So right now, whatever this is, is just an image because it's making it a lot easier for us to uh, manage. So I'm just going to upload uh, content home. So there's group content inside group content group home inside group home. Uh, inside content home we have the image so this is going to be the place where you're going to put all of your content i will go ahead and make a future video if you guys want to make a fully fledged dashboard uh, so just hit down in the comments just hit the like so let's just go ahead and duplicate this so copy paste so it's another group that's it says groups dispute but let's name it to content dispute there we go we've completed how it's going to look now if we go and preview this it's just going to look like a mess which we already know it does right 
So now what we need to do is kind of program these buttons as well as uh, make this look better. All right. So when we click home, what should happen is it should send a parameter to the page saying that oh, it's the, uh, the person has clicked the home page. So display home on the URL. So what we do is we start edit workflow and we do navigation, go to page. Okay. We send more parameters to the page, add a parameter, the key would be tab. So since we're using, this could be anything. You could just put V or X or whatever it is. I prefer using tab because it is actually just the tab. It's easy to understand. So tab home. All right. And go back to design. Now, that is literally all we need to do and just play with the showing and hiding of the objects. All right. So now that we go home, transitions, no, conditional. We go to conditional. When? Now, this is the part we have to pay attention to. Get data from page URL. Parameter name, tab. Because we set tab over there. So if you would have named it V or X, you should have put X over here. Since I've named this tab, the, the, um, this go to page tab, I will set this as tab. All right. And it's a text. So it gets tab name is home. That's it. We click somewhere else. So now this is considered as a string of text. So that means when I click it, so let's just, let's just preview this right now. Um, let's just preview this. So notice carefully over here, when I click home, wait, I think there's, there's, there's some kind of error. One second. Uh, go to page, tab, home. Oh, sorry. I have not filled the destination. Really sorry for that. Um, since yes, faster way. All right. So now when I hit, when I hit home, can you see that? And tab is equal to home. Well, when I click it and tab is equal to home, there you go. So with this, we can kind of, uh, do a lot of things. So let's, let's just continue with this. So when tab is equal to home, what do we need to do? When tab is home, this button, it needs to have the background, um, background color should be this dark color. Okay. And font should be, so I'm just going to make it pop in 600. All right. So when someone clicks it, it's going to be pop in 600. All right. So, but I'm going to copy this, I'm going to copy this whole condition. Now we have to do it for when home is not there, right? So I'm just going to paste the condition right here and say home is not. So get tab, get tab from page URL is not home. So if it's anything but home, this particular button, it goes to the background color goes to zero and this poppins becomes poppins regular. All right. So let's just have a look at how that looks. Now, actually, let's just program the others. So the same thing I'm going to do for disputes and mission. Let's just have a look at how that works. So home, disputes and missions. This works perfectly fine. So what we need to do now is display this according to what we are seeing on the tabs. So we go back, let's go back and display on the elements tree what properties we have to change. So this is not a, this is not visible on page load. This shouldn't be visible on page load. All right. So now what we do is let's go home conditional paste the same condition. 
get page get tab from page url is let's go home because we are editing the home content all right change property element is visible boom that's done that's it that's all you need you need to do to get this done is fast dashboard so that's about it guys uh, this is how we can use page urls to change uh, states in the page so i would love for you guys to uh, comment down below how you've used to make in different applications and uh, please uh, comment like and share as well as subscribe for more videos on no code mafia all right guys mafia out